Well, here we are again. The uh, months seem to roll around fairly quickly, don't they? This is our December issue of the Mover magazine. And I'd just like to introduce you to it and show you a few of the things that are in there. Not all of it, we haven't got too much time, but uh, just a, a few bits and pieces um, that I thought you might be particularly interested in. Uh, it's, there's quite a lot of stories in here about shows and the exhibitions and conferences and that kind of thing. You'd expect that at this time of year, of course. Uh, the first one in the book here is the Movers and Stores show uh, that's in the UK. It's the only independent uh, show for the moving industry and uh, it's very well attended. Lots of people go there, they've all got money to spend and uh, uh, a lot of good business was done at that show and there's a lot of good information comes out of them as well. If you've not been before to the Movers and Stores show next year, book it in your diary and I suggest you do. Don't know yet what the date is going to be but look out for it in the Mover and we'll tell you when it's going to be. But try and get along there if you've not been before. It's, good, uh, it's a good show. Uh, what else have we got? Oh yeah, there's a, there's a story here about um, Pink and Jones who have just opened a new self-storage. Uh, self-storage organisation uh, and, and I, I um, do you know I've, I've never met anybody yet that has started a new self store and not thought with hindsight that it was a good idea. Uh, everybody seems to find that they're very successful. You've got to put in a few quid at the beginning of course but you know that's uh, that's fair enough but, but once it's established once it's working then you know, most people are very happy with it in my experience. Uh, carrying on the self-storage theme, there's a report of the FEDESA conference that was in Barcelona. Uh, thank you, by the way, to Rennie Schaefer from the Self-Storage Association for sending us that story and the photographs and everything. Um, certainly looks like it was a, a good show there. Uh, this is our cover story, uh, the momentous merger. Now, I suspect most of you by now will have heard uh, that um, momentous and Abel's and uh, Gerson have merged to become one organisation. You may know something about it. This is the story, if you like, from the horse's mouth. Um, it'll tell you a little bit, not only about what's happened, but why it's happened as well. And uh, I'm sure you find that interesting. Uh, of course, we all went to New Orleans um, in October. The Paima conference was first. Uh, they had a, a good show, good turnout again. I think it was a record turnout uh, for, for Pina this year. Uh, and they had a, a, a good show immediately before the I Am conference. And uh, this is my little report about the I Am conference. It, it, I call it probably perfect. And that's not because really I think it necessarily was perfect, um, difficult for anything to be. But um, the thing is that the I Am conference is what it is isn't it? I mean, it, it is uh, 2,000 plus people all getting together to, to share business and they do it in the way that they choose to do it. The, the uh, organisers give the framework for the show but actually it becomes what the people want it to be and so in that sense I guess it is probably perfect because if it wasn't the way you liked it then you would change it wouldn't you? Uh, so that's, that's the point of that. Actually I thoroughly enjoyed the I Am conference I think they uh, they do a very very good job of um, of managing a huge group of people um, and providing interesting content for everybody. The only thing that I think is a bit of a shame is that more people don't go along to the plenary meetings because there's a lot of good stuff in there and most people just spend it in endless one-to-one uh, -one meetings around the hotel which I think is a bit of a shame. I know that's what you're there for but I, I just think that people miss out on a lot if they don't go to some of those plenary meetings. So I'd urge you to do it next time. Um, of course, we have the Terry Head State of I Am uh, address um, reported there. Uh, Terry's always got good stuff to say, and he's, of course he has his unique and very professional way of saying it. Uh, so um, that's always a good thing to, to, uh, to watch. And, um, and that's, there's lots more in there, of course, that's just a few of the things that, that I thought you might be interested in, in reading about in the magazine. Uh, there was one other thing that I wanted to tell you. Um, what was it? Oh, I know. Um, wherever you are, and whatever your persuasion, have a happy Christmas. <laughs>